This is Adam Lane from PocketNow.com going over Windows Mobile 6.1 standard. Uh, this has a lot more new things than Windows Mobile Pro. Well, first thing you'll notice is the Today screen. This is a new default. You see the big clock at the top. Um, no longer is there the series of recently used programs with icons there. Um, the row below that, you see a bunch of icons and some of them have numbers. If you scroll down to those, it changes to list text messages and it shows the recently received text message there. And if I go to the right, it also shows me six new emails for that specific account. If I go even more, it shows no messages in the MMS account, nothing in Outlook, no missed calls, no voicemails. If I go down, well first of all, when you're up here you can still read everything else. So this is my next appointment. If I scroll down there, it shows it to me. I can hit the action button to open them. I can also make a new appointment from there. Going down, here's a get it's getting started item. If you're just opening your new, new phone, you can set up things pretty easily. And also has a media player integration. So you can press that and play music, and you can scroll through other songs. Also notice the bottom soft keys are changing. So those are context sensitive. You can also ask access photos. And the last one is a settings panel. Uh, you can change the profile. You can access the wireless manager. Change your ringtone. Change your background image. And go to the task manager. This is a new thing that's really nice, task manager. Let's open that and it shows our open tasks and it's really easy to end them because right here you see the end task is assigned to the left soft key you can also view processes over there or end all tasks at once let's end active sync okay home goes back home Let's take a look at that text message. Now it loads a, a threaded text message window. Now I can type back. And just hit send. And here you see the window that shows all your different conversations. Fortunately, it doesn't show contact photos anymore, so that's kind of a disappointment. And you can't mark it as unread, say if you want to reply later and you want to mark it. That's unavailable now. Here's another new thing down here. You see select messages. You have the option to choose all below, all, or several. This is great if you want to delete things. See that? Multiple selection. Very nice. Now let's go to the start menu. When I press the start menu, it goes through recent programs listing instead of the all programs that you're normally used to with Windows Mobile 6. I have to press the left soft key again to see all my programs. Okay, so recent programs change around. These are all um, assign or accessible with the number pad. So I can press 5 to go to the task manager. I'm going to press 3 and go to the Internet Explorer. 
see one, two, three. Now this is a little different than the Windows Mobile Pro version because you can see the left soft key says zoom out instead of back because we have a hardware button for the back function. So let's open a web page. This is still the old slow Internet Explorer mobile rendering engine. Notice that you can't zoom out while it's rendering. It says stop there. Now it's finished. I can zoom out. And you can see I can scroll really easily all across this. Now notice it's in view as desktop mode. You still have your one column fit to screen options. Those are great. So zooming out and scrolling is really easy. I think this interface is, is better than the Nokia version, which will show a little thumbnail in the corner that you can see the zoomed out version and the scrolling uh, screen rectangle. This way I can manually zoom out and choose where I want to scroll to. So that's pretty nice. Now here's another new feature in the menu. If I go to zero, copy and paste, uh, first option is select text. So that brings us to this window that just shows all the text in the web page. Now say I want to select that. I press the left soft key and then I scroll down. And what other? We can also select all, copy. There's copy. So now I just copy that. And maybe I go back to the messaging. And now, look at this. I can paste it. Beautiful. So those are some excellent new features in Windows Mobile 6.1.